Greetings and salutations gamers, welcome back to the bakery if you guys are new of course, my name is Jar and today we are reacting to more E3 trailers. Now right here we have Marvel's Avengers 8A trailer. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not a big superhero guy, especially when it comes to Captain America. Dude, I don't know what it is, I know he's worthy of Mjolnir, endgame spoilers by the way. <laughs> but I absolutely love Tony Stark, and Thor's pretty cool too. Thor's an absolute champion, and Tony Stark, he is without a doubt, hands down, my ultimate favorite Avenger. He's so cool, he's so funny, he's just so smart, and he's just the best. He's just the absolute best. Without any further delays, Marvel's Avengers A-Day. Let's get into it. The following trailer was created from an in-game footage. Okay, in-game engine footage. Square Enix, of course. You know that old saying? The game looks clean already. Never meet your heroes. Yeah. I know that saying. I did. And it was awesome. There you go. There you go. Oh, the Avengers damn. The Avengers were everything I imagined. Hello, San Francisco! <laughs> oh, that's a terrible Thor. attack. Tony, check it out. At once. Try to keep up. Oh, no. This just got a whole lot more interesting. You going green? He's going green. He's going green. Shh, Jesus. Make this quick. Secure the bridge. Those weapons. Holy. Are you set him up? File, knock him down. This is looking clean. Thor, what's your status? There are humans trapped. And lots of small, angry men with guns. <laughs> is that a joke? This. Did Thor make a joke? Oh, no, they it's all good. Yo, this is... Oh, he just kicked that kid off the bridge. Oh, shit, the whole thing's gone. No. Tony, Thor, the cables. Okay, Black Widow looks a little strange. Cap, what's going on over there? Mirror, what's your status? Jesus back. Christ. No, stay on task. There are still civilians on this bridge. Oh my god. This looks so good. Oh shit. Well, Tony's looking mad. I like that. Tony, Tony's the next level. Others call them murderers. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Oh. Well, we all lost something that day. Did Captain die? Oh. Sh but that's not how this story ends. No, we're back. We're back. I wonder who the villain is. Who is that lizard? That's a what? Space Tony Stark? What was that? Okay. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? May 2020. Yeah, no, yeah, we're not, we're not pre-ordering that. Let's not get crazy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's be, let's be real. How many of you guys are gonna pre-order this game? It looks great. Let's give it props where we should be giving it props. The game looks incredible. The facial models for Bruce Banner and Thor, they look fantastic. Even Captain America, I don't like giving the man props. I don't like, I don't like him. But he, he didn't look too bad either. But what the hell happened to Black Widow? What, what did they do to her? They had Scarlett Johansson, right? Or is it pronounced Johansson or Johansson? I don't know. Let's just call her Scarlett, dude. Because, you know, we're on first name basis like that. She's like, oh, hey, Jar. I'm like, hey, Scarlett. Hey, Scar. You know, because I shorten it. I shorten it a little bit because, you know, we're, we're good friends. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why didn't they just model it off her? Like, Scarlett, she's, she's so pretty. 
Wouldn't that just make sense to just model it? Oh, I, I, I don't get it. Anyway. And what happened to that, uh, the Nighthawk guy? What's his name? Hawkeye? The, the bow and arrow kid. He's not, is he not there? Did, did I just not see him? A lot of games give us cinematic trailers. This trailer looked like a combination of both. So for example, Cyberpunk 2077, that was a purely cinematic cutscene that we got to see. And dude, it looked incredible. It looked incredible. But the second by second gameplay obviously is not gonna look like that. Whereas in this trailer, it seemed like it had cutscenes as well as in-game footage of what it's gonna feel like and what it's gonna look like to be able to control these characters that we've grown to love over the last couple of years with the whole Avengers Marvel franchise, right? It seems so incredible flying through the air with Iron Man or to have like all these things flying past you and you you can just shoot at things and oh my God, it just looked incredible. I think Thor will be a lot of fun as well. I think Iron Man and Thor will be the most fun. It seems like the Hulk is just gonna be heavy, heavy like power move set, jumps really high, jumps really fast jumps very far. Every time he lands, you're gonna feel him landing. The control is gonna vibrate. You're gonna be able to punch tanks in the face. It's just gonna be a lot of heavy hitting. And playing as the captain, he seemed like pretty, pretty solid as well, throwing his shield around, punching kids in the face. That was clean as well. Um, and I'd assume that playing as uh, the Widow, she's, she's most likely going to be the fastest character. I mean, she, she moves quickly, uh, she doesn't really have a lot of uh, superhero powers behind her, she's just a goddamn assassin, from what I recall. Yeah, I didn't see any superpowers there, so she's just, uh, she's gonna have to just rely on pure technique and speed and skill to get through her opponents. I don't know, it could be a very fun game. We'll have to see, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have to see. Typically in the past, I haven't really enjoyed superhero games until I played Spider-Man on the PlayStation. Now, Spider-Man, that, uh, that was a completely different vibe. They kind of went into the story a little bit more. It was fun to play as Spidey. I've got a full Let's Play on the channel if you want to go check that out. It was a lot of fun. It was actually a very, very well-made game. Hopefully, Marvel Avengers a -Day, it can take a lot from what they've already done with Spidey. Bring it over, have the have the second by second action gameplay being as fulfilling and as engaging as what they had in Spidey. I really do hope that it does well. At the end of the day, when games do very well, I, it, it puts a smile on my face. I You really hate to see um, a lot of effort getting poured into a game and then the game comes out and then they just get crushed by all the reviewing people. But I'm sure it'll do very, very well. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for tuning in. I want to know what your thoughts and opinions are down in the comment section below. I'll see you there. I'll be reading, replying to everything. If you want to see that full left to right gameplay walkthrough, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button like you know you should. And as always, as always, I will catch you in the next one.